Morning guys, I want to take some time to talk about the fundamentals of engineering and uh, some problem that uh, new engineers and even seasoned engineer fall uh, into and that's uh, the lack of fundamentals. Let me explain. Uh, if you're lacking fundamentals, you will reach a stage where you'll be confused of what is what is really a core tech and what is really a fluff or a tool and uh, I'm gonna name some examples here. For example, I see a lot of people make a mistake by jumping to tools like Socket.io and React or Django without understanding WebSockets, JavaScript, and Python. You know, Socket.io is a great library. They don't like to call themselves library, but it is built on WebSocket, which is the bidirectional core tech that you need to understand. Socket.io is just a wrapper. However, it's, it's a really a great wrapper because it has some fallback logic and understand if the server supports WebSocket or not, falls back to other protocols as well. But if you don't understand how WebSockets work, you'll be confused. And I understand it, it definitely simplifies the life of engineering, but that, that could be just me. I don't like to use a tool that kind of hides what is behind the curtain. I like to see the details. I personally like to see what exactly the library, the framework is doing, so I as an engineer can have full understanding of what's going on. If you just plugged in Socket.io or React, what is going on? And I'm not saying guys don't use Socket.io or don't use React or Django. No, obviously you have to use them, but I really implore you to understand how they work. And some, some engineers will disagree with me. So it's like, no, this is a black box. Because if you reach a stage where there is a bug in the socket IO framework or React, you're, you're stuck because you don't understand how these things work, right? But if you really know how they work, you might actually have a chance. Another thing, if you understand how frameworks or uh, wrappers like socket IO or, or other frameworks really work, you can contribute to the open source community and improve this framework to do better. Again, it might not be a popular opinion, but you can definitely use uh, technology as a black box by, but if, 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 it, if it's just me, I really need to understand how it works. But that could be just me. Another trend is people jumping on React without actually knowing just how to build uh, vanilla JavaScript applications. And uh, I really employ, and, and everybody talks about this, right? Diversity Media, Benawa, then every. Despite React solving lots of problems, simplify your front-end development, you cannot really start with React blindly without actually knowing the fundamentals on JavaScript, promises, event, events, and all that stuff, right? You can, uh, we can argue about what, what fundamentals really mean. I mean, when I said Socket.io versus WebSocket, which is the core of the tech, some people will say, oh, WebSocket is really nothing but TCP at the back end, right? And really depends, I don't have strong opinion about it. How, da, how deep you wanna go into these fundamentals, into low level fundamentals. Oh, you stop on TCP? Do you step on the packet level? Do you stop on how uh, frames are formed? Definitely you need to go deep enough so you understand where uh, performance are spent, uh, how the systems are working, and uh, just knowledge is power, guys. You just need to understand it. I don't believe black box development. And when I get into these kind of discussions with people, some people just pull a straw man argument like, oh, in this case, just go and develop an assembly language. No, that's not how it works, guys. Like, it's not. Of course, you need to build high level stuff. You need to reuse the tools, but I don't believe engineers should just blindly use tools without them knowing how those tools actually work. And obviously you cannot learn everything, right? So that's why where a specialty really shines. And this is where you as an engineer really shines. Like, what do you like? What kind of backend or frontend engineering are you really attracted to? And then you dive deep into it. All right guys, short story today. Um, here at the, getting some coffee with the family and uh, it's Eid, so Eid Mubarak.